everybody, what's up? So uh, this is a Nano Reef Tank update. You can see the firefish is still doing really good. He's hiding in between the two rocks right now. Because uh, I just cleaned the tank off a little bit. So he's probably a little freaked out. Um, but a lot has happened since the last update for this tank. Everything's still doing really well. You can see there's a couple new coral frags. I'll show you those in a minute. Um, Calepra is doing okay. The problem with the Calepra is it keeps breaking up and falling off and not staying where it's supposed to, so it doesn't really get a chance to grow, so it's flying all over the place, and that's an issue. Um, and like I said, the tank might look a little dusty right now, just because they cleaned everything up like two seconds ago. Um, but anyways, you can see the firefish is doing really good. Let's see if he'll let me kind of get close to him or not, if, if he'll freak out. But yeah, he's doing really good. He's been eating a lot. I've been feeding him about every other day. Um, some flakes here and there and stuff. Um, Actually, I gotta feed them today, so I might as well put some food in there. Okay, so you can see he's eating pretty well. Um, you can see there's a couple new coral frags, so obviously the firefish is kind of messing with some of them right now. Bam right there, but um, uh, the firefish's name is Jerry, by the way. So we've got two uh, zooanthid colonies here. One's from the 40, that's the one on the left, doing a lot better, nice and open. The other one on the right is from the store. Uh, it was really open before uh, Jerry smashed in the, with, his ch with his tail, so that one's been doing really good. Um, there's another colony up here on this rock. Um, and that's a red zoanthid. It's also from my 40 gallon. It's all closed right now. It's only about four polyps. It started out as one polyp on a rock. Um, so it is doing more or less okay. I think it's still kind of acclimating to this tank. And these here are uh, Lobophilias. Um, they both used to be in my 40 about six, well, probably about eight months ago now that I think about it. Um, I gave them to a friend for a while because they really weren't doing too well on my 40. I don't think I had good enough lighting for them in there or anything. Um, but now they're doing great. The one on the left eats almost every day. The one on the right eats about every other day. And then my prized possession in here is this A-can. Now the A-can I used to have in my 40 about a year ago when I first, uh, but well actually, no, I've, I've had it for, yeah, at least a year ago. Um, cause a year ago I used to have a 20 gallon long and I bought this little A-can for 30 bucks and it never grew more than one head. I mean, it's an amazing A-can. It's like a bright neon yellow and orange and I just, I absolutely love the color. Um, I used to keep it under T5s and it was amazing in the 20 gallon long. Um, but then I switched to a 40, upgraded LEDs, and it didn't go too well from there. Uh, it started looking pretty bad and it died off to almost nothing. And uh, I gave it to my friend. She managed to bring it back all the way up to this, which is pretty awesome actually. It's, it's pretty amazing. So uh, I feed them about every other day now. And I feed them uh, Dr. G's LPS Max, which you guys will get to see in this video in just a minute. And then this here is a sun coral. He's closed right now because during the day, um, he is recuperating, so he was pretty damaged when I got him, so I'm trying to bring him back. I think the main four polyps will be able to come back. I think these little tiny ones probably won't make it, but the main four there in the middle probably will do okay. Here's the Calepra, by the way. Calepra is really not doing too well. Um, it's kind of covered by algae, and it keeps running around and getting chopped out by the filter and like all, or by the uh, pump and all this crap, so it's not doing too well. Um, and now I'm starting to get algae on the glass of the tank. You can see here's some, you can't really see it too well, but you can see it down on the sand bed. I'm starting to get some diatoms on the glass again and stuff, and I think that's just regular maintenance. I mean, everybody gets that. I get it on my 40 about every day. Um, I think what I am going to do, though, just to be on the safe side, is pick up some uh, some foss guard for this tank and just drop it in the sump. That way I'll have something that at least kind of combat phosphates. I shouldn't have any phosphates. I've been using straight RODI water, and I got the water tested yesterday, and everything tested perfect. So really happy with that. Tank should be good. Um, I've been having to put in some DKH buffer in it. But other than that, it's doing great. See if Jerry actually makes it to those flakes up there finally. Here okay, comes the uh, the snails too. These are, uh, uh, what are they? They're, um, they're Naz uh, Nasaria snails or whatever you call them, Nazareth snails or something like that. And uh, they pretty much Eat the, eat the stuff in the sand bed and all that crap, like eat all the stuff on the top of the sand bed and all that. And they'll come out whenever I feed the corals. Um, they'll actually try and eat off the corals, which kind of it's kind of annoying, so I normally knock them around a little bit when they're doing that. Focus snail in there too, he's right over here. 
I know it's a little hermit in there. He's been doing real good. I need about 20 more. No, I'm just kidding. I need about like three more to keep, you know, up with the glass and everything. He's mainly just been working on the rocks with the hermits, so it's pretty good. You can see this guy's closing up. He thinks there's food. It's pretty funny. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go feed the acan now, so you guys will see that in just a second. Okay, so what I've been feeding these guys is Dr. G's LPS Max. It's even got a picture of sun coral on it, so I've been getting really good results with this. Um, it's pretty good. It doesn't have any, like, phosphates or anything in it. Um, it's got, you know, mysis, brine, all sorts of shrimp in it. Uh, it's good for large polyp stony corals. It's got uh, arctic pods in it and, uh, you know, mysis and all sorts of crazy stuff. Put it in a little syringe just like this here. Uh, the syringe does, you know, a pretty good job of feeding them. It's a little hard to control, but it's the best thing I got for right now. And I'll show you. We're going to upset the firefish a little bit, but... We'll get over it. Okay. So you just come in here like this. I just kind of wiggle some into the A-can like that, and he'll go and grab it. You can put some on the sun over here. Get the sun to come out. Put some on these guys. The zoas won't really eat it. You can see that zoa is way open, the one from the store again. But I mean, if you put some of it on there, even if you like liquidize it and stuff, they don't really mess with it. They just kind of close it up like that. They don't really do anything with it. But I don't know, we'll see. I normally don't feed the zoas anything at all. I just kind of let them do their thing, photosynthesis, if they make it, they make it. So, that's kind of what zoas do. You can see this guy's gonna be a little bully and mess with the sun coral a whole lot. There's the other one in the back by the acan. I gotta watch these snails, because they really will tear up your corals trying to rip food out of them. Oh, you can see Jerry wants some of the coral food, I guess. He actually might eat some. I know my, uh, my clownfish in my regular tank love it. Yeah, there he goes, he's eating some. He normally like freaks out if I'm within like a foot of the aquarium and I'm not holding perfectly still. He doesn't come out at all. He's a pretty cool little fish though. I really like him a lot. But yeah, it's everything that's happened um, since the last update. Uh, some people are curious about my like reef LED lighting and stuff. And those are the reef. It's a reef pro bar. Um, I've only got one on here. It's a blue and white one. And it does a pretty good job. Uh, honestly, I think it gives a little bit too much light to the tank. So... I honestly might have to buy a panoramic uh, module to keep it down or, or whatever they call it at this fish store. They have some kind of module there like that. And that'll keep it down so it doesn't like, you know, mess with the tank too much. It doesn't give it too much light. Um, it'll also let me change it from, you know, blue and whites and stuff like that. And it really popped the A-can out a little more. So it might be something later on down the road uh, to get. Curious whether you guys wanted me to get a fire shrimp or a uh, cleaner shrimp for this tank. I was really leaning towards the fire shrimp because I think they're a little more colorful. Um, to me, it's a little more appealing. Um, but, you know, let me know what you guys think. Put in the comments. Um, but overall, it's doing great. Love this tank. Here's a full tank shot for you guys. So thanks for watching the video. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for liking. Thanks for commenting. Um, if you have any friendly suggestions, feel free to post them on the comments. Um, if you have any questions, post them in the comments. So I'll try and make a video about it. Um, you can follow me on Instagram at BradleyTheExplorer. I put uh, just about daily fish videos on there or fish photos, stuff like that. So if you guys want to get a quicker update on the tank, that's probably the easiest way to do it. So like I said, thanks for watching. And there goes Jerry freaking out. Have a good one.